Searle and a, and, a, and a professor named Kimball Harper who's died a few years ago mm -hmm. but they came to this place every year for 22 years oh, wow. and recorded what's called the demography of the plants they had a whole bunch of tagged plants and they recorded how, how long they lived and when the new ones came up and how much seed they made and all these all this data and this is the place they did the study oh very cool, oh, cool. And then they gave me the data and said, what does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Susan Meyer, and I'm an ecologist with the Forest Service, although this doesn't look like a very likely place to do Forest Service work. But I work at a place called the Shrub Sciences Lab in Provo, and we work on desert systems. And one of my main interests is the ecology of rare plants. And this little valley here just happens to be home to one of the rarest plants in Utah, which is Astragalus homegraniorum, or Holmgren's milk vetch. It only grows in a few square miles south of St. George, and that's an area that's undergoing very rapid development. So our goal is to try to know everything there is to know about this plant so that we can try to learn how to grow it, produce seed of it, and then take that seed and plant it in places that are appropriate, that are further from St. George, where it might be able to hang on longer. Awesome. Okay, so my name is Cody Rominger. I work for the Forest Service. I am a, the Astragalus Home Graniorum Recovery Project Manager. And uh, what I do out here, uh, for the survey at least, is uh, we're walking around on the state line property of the BLM, the, the state line population, trying to find um, Astragalus Home Graniorum seedlings and adults. And we're comparing that to uh, a census that was done in 2005. Um, we're using that data to compare if the populations have declined, if they moved, um, just the, basically the overall health of the population. And, and it's important because you know this endangered plant in specific hasn't you know it, it, the, way, the reason it's endangered is because of humans. So I feel like it's important that humans take a proactive approach to helping recover the plant. What we'll do is I will have the GPS unit so mark our line and we're basically going to just make passes spread out in a line and make passes this way and then we'll turn and go back and turn and go back that's the idea but we'll have to kind of adjust in these narrow canyons how we're gonna do it but I think for just to start we'll spread out along this line and just go right up to the you know somewhere on the hillside there and then turn and then make a couple of sweeps this way okay, okay. and then we'll move up up, up. Okay. 